Well, free food and free prayers handed out in the Black Rock neighborhood today. It's something that's been going on strong for the last 25 years, assisting those who are sometimes down to their last buck. I stopped by the Free Food Friday event this afternoon to learn how it's helping folks from around the Queen City make ends meet. I'm here for the uh, the blessing, the food, and uh, it really does help help out now, and especially I'm on a fixed income, and prices and everything are going up. Folks like Joe Morelli of South Buffalo look forward to coming to receive their weekly blessings. He's walking away with a week's worth of food that he and his granddaughter can whip up. Cakes and a lot of fruits and vegetables, and I can use it. People are leaving here with about, I want to say, five pounds of frozen food items. Uh, they also get a produce, apples, uh, carrots, onions. They get non-perishable food items, along with an assortment of things from other donations, like uh, from Wegmans and from Tops and different places of that sort. It's very important to have this type of event on a weekly basis because there are families that are in need of just simple uh, staples and different things for their family and just the community to be able to reach out to others so we have the opportunity for people to volunteer. In order to receive food when you arrive at the distribution location, you'll need to provide your ID and the number of people in your household. For a family of four, the food will last about a week or so. We like to try and be able to do as much as possible so we try to get a lot of extra things that they wouldn't necessarily be able to get from a store because it's more expensive. Expensive. So we will have like drinks and different items that people might want to be able to get, but they can't necessarily afford to get them. Helping people push forward and showing God's love.